Let me place on record our gratitude to the government and people of uh, Taiwan for their very generous offer to stay these principal payments for two and a half years and in one instance, if I remember correctly, Prime Minister, three years. And using the Prime Minister's own description, Madam Speaker, we would have been able to free up, so to speak, some $70 million over the next two and a half to three years in terms of the principal payments to these 10 loans. But in the same breath, Madam Speaker, that we're doing this, we receive an announcement that for the very first time in the history of this country, I think, that gas prices has gone over $12. So if it is, we are getting this kind of reprieve. We are getting reprieve from th these 10 loans from Taiwan. If we are getting reprieve from the super bond, why is it that it cannot translate into some relief for the Belizean people? This Prime Minister has gone on record, Madam Speaker, to say that these gas prices are out of hand and should not be where it is when he was opposition leader. No, with the kind of developments that he is asking us to support now, I would wish that he could give us some good news today in terms of the gas prices and say immediately tomorrow these gas prices will go down.